When he got my sticky bun out, he has absolutely butchered it. I don't know what's happened to it. It looks like it's been in a car crash or a fight with another pastry. But hey, oh, <laughs> don't smash the windows. That's one thing you shouldn't do. Well, ahoy there, cruisers. Welcome back to another episode of Cruise with Ben and David. And a very good morning from the MSC Virtuosa. We're going to go check out the food. We're going to go for breakfast. It's about 9.30 a.m. So we did sleep in a little bit because we needed that extra sleep. But uh, the buffet is uh, open till about 11 o'clock. But we wanted to go and eat in the main dining room. But that closed at 8.30 in the morning. How early is that? I think everybody wants a little bit of a sleep in. We know that there's early risers, but 8.30, that's early. We've heard a lot of bad comments about the MSC food. Well, today we are going to show you everything that you need to know about the food. And we're going to be brutally honest, whether it's fantastic or whether it's awful. So join us today as we eat our way through the ship. I'm very excited. Well, look who finally rose from his slumber. I love your top. Oh, thank you. Just checking myself out in the mirror. Feel like a supermodel. How do I look? You look very, good. very nautical, David. Love it. Thank you. And I'm full of MSC coffee this morning. We had our coffee. And the coffee is absolutely spectacular on MSC. Definitely the best at sea, yeah. Yeah, included in the drinks package. Nice thing about this cabin, it's just two stops up to the pool bar, grab our coffee and then bring it back down. Right, should we get going? Yes. Let's stop wasting time. My tummy is ready for a day of feasting. Let's go. Come on, guys, let's go. I'm hungry. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, David. Oh, oh. Masks. Oops, we did it again. We'll keep forgetting it's so bad. We've got halfway downstairs before, haven't we? <sighs> so annoying. David, what are you packing? Can you believe it? Packing for a cruise again? Well, I'll tell you one thing you can't pack. What's that? Well, our new language skills we've picked up from Babbel. This video is sponsored by Babbel. Babbel is the number one language learning app in the world. Now, you know how useless we are at learning languages, but we've been using Babbel to learn Spanish. They don't just teach Spanish though, they've got loads of languages, including French, German, Italian, and Klingon. Um, no. I'm just kidding, they haven't got to Klingon yet. Lessons only take around 10 minutes and they actually teach you more than just the words. To speak the language naturally, conversationally, yo hablo espanol. Oh, that's because the classes are created by real people and not robots. Plus, you can learn on the go anywhere, whenever you have the time. Oh, I'm loving the games too. You are literally learning without even knowing it. Plus there's live classes as well for a small extra charge. They're taught in small groups by a certified teacher. Um, less of the games and more of the packing, Ben. Sorry. And because we're working with Babbel, if you sign up using the link in the description section below, but it's not actually below, it's below the video. If you sign up for six months, you get six months absolutely free. So that's 12 months basically for half price. How good's that? Now back to the cruise. Get that mask out. Oh, nice fresh mask. Oh, I don't know about fresh. I'm it's not like, keen. It's like when you've got fresh bedding on and you get into it and you're all nice and lovely. That's what it feels like. I won't go that far. Here's right. one for you. Thank you very much. Here's one for you. Ah, welcome to the buffet. Let's go and get some breakfast. Well, of course, you start off with the dessert section, the breakfast dessert section. Very Italian thing to do, but Ben is very, very happy with all these cakes, aren't you? Yes, just look at that. They look very tasty, don't they? They do, actually. The cakes are very, very good. So we've got all your usual suspects. We've got hot cereals. We've got pancakes, another waffles, another sort of like breakfast pudding. Um, there's fruits. Little cups of fruits. And then we have hot breakfast. So there's a full calvary. Strange, I've never seen that before. And it is a buffet, but what's different is that the staff are serving everybody. So that's the difference, isn't it, David? Yeah, it is. So um, you basically just point out what you want and they plate it up for you and then hand it over to you. It's surprisingly busy considering there's only a thousand people on board, isn't it? Yeah, it does feel busier than I thought it would. I thought we'd be rattling around the ship, but no, it still feels quite busy. Eggs and omelettes. Yeah, so made to order omelettes, eggs, bread, bacon, sausages. Morning, guys. Cereals, yogurts, jams. Here's all your little bits of like marmalade and things. Pretty coffee. The all important tea and coffee station. Well, fancy something to drink to you. I'm thirsty. We're going to start off with a nice juice. So, could I get an orange juice, please? Yeah. Just the one, thank you. 
Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Of course, during these times, you can't help yourself, so they have somebody who is going to get the juices for you. Cheers. I was about to go, ooh. <laughs> so now that we've shown you around, it's time for us to eat. Come on, I'm starving. Come on, We're going to get a selection of different things to try. Obviously, guys, just for you. And we're going to tell you exactly what it's like. We're not food critics. We're not food snobs. We just like good, tasty food. So come on. Thank you so much. Um, Thanks. Is it cannibal? Yeah. Oh, skip to the fruit. We don't want fruit. We know what fruit tastes like. Should we get a slice of roast ham, David? Do you know what? Why not? It's almost lunch time, so why not make it a brunch, yeah? Let's do it. Let's get a full English breakfast as well. Whilst in Italy, let's eat English. Good morning. Thank you so much. Just getting the big plate out for our order. Oh, how embarrassing. <laughs> Just getting the trough out. So guys, as you know, this is purely for research purposes only. So we're only getting this for you. I think that's enough, David. That is what I call a full English and a half. That's enough. Should we go? Let's go. Oh my gosh. Oh, how my much days. food have we got, David? It's the curse of the buffet. Oh, can take my face bra off. I've already got mine off. Oh. Face bra, I love it. So we've got a full English breakfast. We've got some sweets and meats and cake. All sorts. And everything you need is one of your healthy, a part of a healthy diet, yeah? It, yeah, I mean, it's a breakfast with dessert and a lunch as well. Right, should we have the taste test? I'm really hungry, guys. So we're, I'm obviously not going to eat all of this, but <laughs> who am I kidding? Probably will eat all of this, but we're going to taste it. David got black pudding. Now that's something you get, uh, that's deep fried pig's blood. Nah, can't do that, no way. So I'm gonna go in for a sausage, you know. It's not really an English sausage, it's an American sausage, but that's fine. Breakfast potatoes are really nice. Let's try a bit of bacon. Mmm, that bacon is offensive offensive to all of the other pigs because it's absolutely delicious they should go home yum mushrooms Ooh, i'm not a massive fan of mushrooms but they are okay now one thing that i do really love is a good hash brown so i've got really really high hopes for this and i will be completely devastated if it isn't nice mm -mm. Mm getting notes of potato, notes of crunch. That, do you want to know something? They're really good. Because sometimes they can be a bit greasy, but that is actually really good. Impressed so far with MSC's buffet. I know what I'm going to be eating every single morning. It rhymes with mash frown. Absolutely delicious. Now, David, do you want to taste some of these things? And then I'll come back. Oh no, should I taste the ham first, actually? I think you should give the black pudding a go, babe. I am not tasting the black just, pudding. Just a nibble. Just look at that. It is absolutely, like, what the heck is that? It's disgusting. It's pig's blood it rolled into a sausage. No, 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 I am For not. For the vlog. I, I wouldn't do, no. There's no ben, way. I, loads of people no. emailed me saying they no, really want no. to see Ben try in black pudding. No, and they be really disappointed if you didn't. And they wouldn't like our channel anymore. You are such a liar, David. There is no chance in all of hell that I'm going to taste that. But before I pass it over to you, I'm going to taste this um, ham. It looks quite nice, doesn't it? What's on top of it? She said gravy. For breakfast. And then she said sauce. So I didn't What's know if this? it was, I think a French toast. They did come as a combination. It's not French toast, that's just that's like toast. It's, what call it? Is toast. it just toast? That's I don't know what it Ow! Is it fried bread? Mm, no, I don't even see that. It's just really hard bread. Maybe you're supposed to dip it up with your um, gravy for breakfast. It's not offensive, but it just tastes a bit stale. Let's try the ham. That's wonderful. That's honestly really delicious. That is the gravy. Oh my gosh. It feels a bit more brunchy, which is fine because it's late for us. But oh my God. It was freshly carved off the bone. Oh, you guys, that's really, really good. Salty, sweet, apple -y. absolute, honestly delicious. I still absolutely have no idea what that bloody thing is, but hey, the ham is an absolute winner. Now, David, it's your turn to have a go. Because you seem so, so keen 
on that black lemon pudding. It's your goal. I'm not, to be honest, Ben, I only really got it because I thought you were going to try it. Uh, no, you did not. Do I You're have to try such it? such a liar. I don't really eat much meat, so this is kind of feels weird that I'm eating the blood. Like a vampire. That is not nice. I don't know if it's just because it's MSC or it's black pudding, but... Oh, no. I think it's been a long time since I ate it. And this one's kind of like chewy cold as well. Ugh, no. I'm gonna tuck into the baked beans. Well, you can't go wrong with baked beans, can you? A staple in every English breakfast. Yeah, baked beans. Breakfast, it's the all-rounder. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, late night snack. Is it okay? Mmm, it's good. A decent breakfast. We've always actually been surprised with Emma's breakfast. It's always been pretty decent. Sorry, I'm just gonna have to have another bite. I'm absolutely famished. Right, now it's my favorite time of any meal in the whole wide world. Sweet food, you know how much I love my sweet food. Just a, just a true thing. When he got my sticky bun out, he has absolutely butchered it. I don't know what's happened to it. It looks like it's been in a car crash or a fight with another pastry, but hey. Oh, <laughs> don't smash the windows. That's one thing you shouldn't do, but I'm gonna have a taste of it. Oh God, it's very dense. Let's have a taste. Love a good old sticky bun. Looks a bit like a cinnamon, a cinnamon bun, right. If there was anything such as the sweet gods, they'd be crying right now because that's, it's not good. It's, um, it feels like it's been there about three and a half hours. It's, oh, I, no. don't, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a bit, it's so hard. Yeah. That's so disappointing. That's really disappointing. I think it was supposed to come with a sauce. I don't know, he didn't offer us he one. He didn't offer us did. one. Right, I'm going to try some of this cake. Italians love their cake and sweets at breakfast. That's one thing that I have so much respect for them for. This is a white chocolate cake. It's okay. It's really dense. Maybe we just came to breakfast too late, but that's not really an excuse. You should be able to come anytime you want. It's okay, but a bit underwhelming. So I'm a little bit disappointed with the breakfast dessert. Oh my God, it, it feels, it's like dry toast. That has been sat there but since. But br brittle, it just drops a drops Yeah, bits. look at that. Oh no, oh dear. Have a, have a taste, it's just. Let me try, let me try and find at least a juicy bit. My heart is, is crying You're right crying, now. you were so excited for this as well. I'm so sorry. Oh well. I feel what, really bad. What can you do? Can you hear the crunch? It's crunch, it should not be crunchy. That has, that has been sat there since the crack of dawn. Mm -hmm. The crack of dawn. The actual flavour, when you actually get through the stillness, is actually okay. It, yeah, it's not too bad. It's just... Yeah. It's so, really still. Okay, my favourite things, breakfast pastry. You can't go wrong on a pastry, can you? I think you? these were fresh as well. I saw them just put them out. Good breakfast pastry. Delicious. Now all I need is a big coffee, because I need waking up. Mm, very good, yeah. Very fresh. But I think this highlights a lot of people's concerns with MSC when it comes to food. And to be honest, it really is hit and miss. It's definitely the one down point on MSC because their ships are so spectacular and the food just isn't quite there. We'll reserve judgment for everywhere else, but our meal last night in the main dining room again was a bit dodgy at best. It's just not as good as other lines such as Royal Caribbean and Norwegian and Princess especially. But we, we always say we always go by price. And on this cruise in particular, we paid a lot of money. It was a lot more expensive than a normal MSC cruise, almost double. We paid 1,200 pounds, I think, for four nights. And for our Anthem of the Seas cruise, we paid just under 1,000 pounds. Now that doesn't include the drinks package, but still, it, it doesn't make up for the lack of good food. The crew have been really, really lovely. They are so excited to be here. Every single one of them says hello when you go past and starts talking to you. And it was really great. I love the new style of buffet. Everything had perspex screens in front of it. Sorry if you can hear a baby crying, but hey. Right, we're done with breakfast. So pit stop expresso, expresso. Express yourself. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Thanks very much. So we've just booked our dining uh, for on board. We're going to the Vietnamese restaurant and our favorite, the Kato Sushi Bar, which has some yummy food. They're actually really busy. So make sure if you want to buy a, a meal package, 
do it in advance because we just got the last minute times. One thing we bought as well is the internet package, which is really expensive as well compared to some lines. Honestly, it's it's terrible. We've got the stream package and we can barely load a web page, let alone stream. So we're really not happy about that. So we are going to go check with guest services because there is no chance I'm paying um, almost £50 for three days. That's what's left of our cruise. We've had really good Wi-Fi on Princess and Royal Caribbean and Norwegian before. So let's just hope that's just a bug today because I can't even really load a web page, which is shocking. And for that price, it shouldn't be. We'll see you in a little while after we take some photos and then we'll go and enjoy the ship. We're going to have drinks tonight. There's two really good shows on. There's a magic show as well as a singing performance as well. So we're really looking forward to that. Oh, getting a bit of that sea air and actually that sea spray. Yeah, it's wet. <laughs> it's getting wet, but do you know what? I don't care. I want to be out here as much as possible. Oh, through my hair. We're going to go up and have a look at what lunch and dinner is like in the buffet in just a moment. And then we were filming with the BBC, which was really awesome. How cool is that? Thank you to all of the wonderful people who have came up to us and said hello. It's so nice to hear from you. And the weather's looking pretty good outside. David's just out there on the balcony just a few moments ago. Now we're going to go have a look at that buffet again for dinner to see what it's like. And then we've got speciality dining tonight. Let's, let's go. stop wasting time and let's go, guys. So let's take a look at what's available in the buffet for dinner. Let's start with the famous MSC pizza. They've got a selection of pizzas that are baked threat fresh throughout the day and into the evening as well. You saw us have a cheeky late night snack the other day. They're great. We've got cold cuts and cheeses and there's also a selection of breads, there's salads, there's the delicious mozzarella that they make fresh on board the ship every single day. Next up we've got soups and pasta. So there's, it looks like there's two types of soups. There's some, a couple of different pastas. There's a couple of different salads. They're all um, made up for you, but you can choose your toppings. You can choose your uh, dressings as well. And then they'll just put that back together for you and hand it to you. Next is the carvery station, which has um, a meat of the day and all the trimmings as well on the side for you. Hi guys. Another bread station as well with lots of delicious breads. Next we have the World Cuisine and this is where you'll find things like curries, one of our favourite dishes. Um, lots of different curries, it changes throughout the cruise, it smells delicious. And finally desserts, um, a couple of different selections of desserts are available and there's also some fruit as well if you just wanted some fresh fruit uh, with some whole pieces of fruit or you can just grab a fruit bowl. It's also very similar to what you get during the day as well at lunchtime. So um, you can come up here if you don't fancy the main dining rooms or any of these speciality, you can just come up here a lot more casual and you can grab and go. So David, what have we got here? Yeah, well, there's really not much actually. And even with what was left, like this was the only pasta that was left available. So I tried to get a little bit of everything. So I got some of the, the famous mozzarella, some bread. I got the carvery of the day the curry, which actually smells really delish, and the pasta as well. Lovely. Let's so should we try? Again. So I think it's a spinach and ricotta pasta. Oh, nice. Love that. It's okay. Nothing special. Yeah, it's fine. It's okay. Nothing to write home to mama about. And I'm gonna have the curry. Let's see how it tastes. Love curry. So the, I've got high hopes. That looks like the best one, I think. Do you know what it, do you, know what, do you know what it genuinely tastes like? Do you know those pots of curry you get in the supermarket? Oh yeah, like the like, um, genuinely. It's incredibly bland. Yeah. Really, really bland. That's really disappointing because it does smell really good. It's got no spice, nothing to it. It's just completely bland, isn't yeah, it? It's completely tasteless. Oh, how disappointing. That's sort of, it smells really nice though. I just tried the meat as well and that was fine. The meat with gravy. I mean, it tastes okay. Do you, do you know what that? Do you know what fix everything? What? Pizza. Pizza, yeah. Let's go get some we'll pizza. Get some pizza. Yeah, you can't go wrong with pizza. So we've also got some pizza and pasta. So we'll see how that tastes. Spaghetti. There's no nice way to eat this without looking like an absolute tramp. Tramp and the tramp. Oh, that's that's, le that's legitimately vile. Nice pizza. That'll get us through. That's not good enough, not for the amount of money we've paid. That's absolutely subpar. I'm really disappointed with that. And it definitely needs calling out. It needs to be better. Terrible selection, absolutely terrible selection of food. And 
when the only thing you want to eat is a pizza and you can't even get a portion of fries with it. I know it sounds silly, a portion of fries, but that's, that's what I fancy right now, or just a sandwich or something. Hi guys, all ready for Elegant Night. Elegant Night's like the formal night on MSC, but I've just got a white shirt and black trousers. Hopefully that will do. So we're gonna head down to the restaurant now. We're so excited. So we're here now. We're quite surprised because we're the only people here at uh, seven o'clock and there was no other reservation, so it must be quite quiet. We, we really struggled getting a reservation, didn't we? But hey, we're here. It's one of our favorite places to eat on MSC, so we've got really high hopes. Really excited, it's like an Asian fusion restaurant. Plus it has a teppanyaki restaurant next door. That's where they cook the food on the table and do all of the big show. You've seen us do it on things like Royal Caribbean on Independence of the Seas. Check out those vlogs if you haven't seen them before. That's what I'm having. No, you need to scan your phone to see, uh, to get the menu. They have to be connected to the ship's Wi-Fi first. So Ben's Should already connected. Should we do it? So let's have a look, so. And then it says open in Chrome. Yeah, then we get the Kato menu. So it's just like a PDF menu. And you can order from there, nice and simple, eh? Nice and simple. Thank you so much, cheers. Oh, how posh. Holy moly, how big is that? I was not expecting that amount of food. Love the plate. Right, let me taste it. It looks amazing. I'm gonna use chopsticks. Try it, go on. So dip it in the sauce and then. You were brave wearing white, Ben. Oh, call me Susan. That is delicious. Absolutely delicious. Love tempura vegetable. So simple, so tasty. I think it was yaki soba something or other. I'm gonna attempt the chopsticks and look posh. Oh, that is actually delicious, guys. So good. Super tasty, just simple, delicious, spicy noodles. Lovely. And I think a really big portion as well. This was, um, I think it was five pound, so not too bad. And for my main course, I had beef teriyaki, which was pretty good, but something you'd normally find in a main dining room on another line. That was a quick turnaround. Our next course, I got the, um, the vegetable tempura sushi rolls, which is like a deep fried or a battered sushi roll. It's like a battered sausage, but it's rice. Delish. Mm. That was a really nice meal. Really stuffed to you, David. I'm absolutely stuffed like a sushi roll. I'm so glad it was so nice. Again, we're gonna to go to the show now, which is a magic show called Abracadabra. And then there's another show straight after at 9.30 with their Soul Sisters at the back in the Carousel Lounge, the lounge that used to hold um, Cirque du Soleil. I'm not sure what's happening with that, if it's gonna be Cirque du Soleil or not, but we're looking forward to that. Loads of entertainment tonight, which is so good to see. The promenade or gallery or as it's called is starting to get a little bit buzzing now so we're excited for the night's entertainment where's we're everybody gone running to the show we're late again as usual david what are we like i know we know we're always late we'll run it'll burn off some of those calories that we've just ate oh as my well gosh. the thing with sushi is it doesn't look big and then when you eat it you're like oh I'm my gosh i'm so full i'm stuffed like a Christmas turkey. And stuff like a tempura vegetable sushi roll. No, that was really lovely and the servers and the staff and the crew in there were so lovely as well. It's like jogging with Ben and David rather than cruising with Ben and David. Right, let's go, we're almost there. Oh God, these trousers have got no give. <laughs> I have brought elasticated waist trousers as well for later in the cruise. The Abracadabra show in the main theatre was actually very good. Fantastic singers and dancers. A little bit random, but that's MSC for you. And the Soul Sisters in the Carousel Lounge were just fantastic. Well, cheers, guys. So we popped down, clink, clink. We popped down to the champagne bar. The, um, the pub was a little bit busy, so we came down here, and it's much quieter. Um, we're just enjoying a nice cocktail of an evening. Back on MSC, and I've got my favorite cocktail, which is a martini spritz. Lovely, and I've got a lovely MSC Bellini, which is peach and uh, Prosecco. We're having a good night, aren't we? Yeah, it's really nice. It's the first time we've actually like sat down, relaxed, taken it all in, and actually enjoyed the cruise. It's really nice. We just had to grab a treat from the crepes and gelato bar. Always here. I've just whipped something up for you, Ben. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. So this was £6.60. 
complete random pricing for some reason. Have a taste, get a bit of cream on there. Walnut, apple, syrup, cream. Life is complete. Very, very, very good. Right, just for complete transparency, I'm just about to break one of my own rules. These shoes are brand new, so my feet are killing me. So I'm gonna get the lift or the elevator up one floor. Now this is the ultimate in laziness. David, are you gonna start going up? I'm gonna time, yeah, you, you lift it. see who's faster, lift A. All right, so I'm in lift A now. Plus I'm just getting into lift A now, talking to myself, obviously, which sounds very, very strange. See who's there uh, faster, me or David? Not good at all. There we go. You beat me. I beat you. But yes, remember, that was just because I've got bad feet. That's my excuse. Bad feet, bad hurting feet. Let's try out another speciality restaurant, the brand new Indochini serving Vietnamese with a French twist. Wow, it is so lovely in here. Our server is amazing. He's taking us on a journey through Southeast Asia on Air France and we're being served. Let's have a taste of this green tea. Oh, that's really lovely, isn't it? It's really nice. Isn't it's that like really floral. lovely? How nice is this restaurant as well? It's so pretty. I'm so glad we came here. This dining experience was fantastic, mainly down to our server, Sagar. I had the vegetarian spring rolls and David the fish. Oh, they're really delicious. They're a chilled starter, but oh, they're so tasty. I think yours is hot bem. And these sauces are absolutely delish. And they come with three different dips. Yeah. I think Kato's got um, competition here. All the other vegetables in the farm are very jealous of this spring roll right here. It is offensively good. Mm. Really good. That was absolutely delicious. It's hands down the best thing we've ate on this cruise so far. Fantastic. That's a round two of beers, Tiger. Yeah, we've moved to Singapore now. Cheers. Raw. We've been told to raw. Uh, the chicken. Oh, nice. nice. Thank oh, you. Oh, wow. Thank you. Enjoy. Bon appetito. Thank you Thank so you. much. That looks spectacular. Now I'm going to have a taste of my soup. So it's a spicy chicken soup and it smells absolutely divine. Let's have a taste. That is good. Oh, it's really spicy. It's absolutely delicious. The weight is hilarious. He does everything on a scale of one to six. One being not very spicy, six being very spicy. And this is a five, I think. It is. Mm. How can this food be so good and then the buffet be so bad? MSC, I don't get it. Seriously, the food in your speciality dining restaurants is stunning, but in the buffet, it's terrible. How could, how could it be like that? I'm just gonna take a moment to appreciate this soup for what it is, fabulous. So David, the question is, does it taste as good as it looks? I know it looks so pretty, I don't want to destroy it. The, so I got the spicy beef salad. How does it taste? That is delicious. It's absolutely full of flavour. It's got a little bit of a crunch to it as well. This meal is a huge four courses, so we recommend not eating for three days beforehand. Thank you. Fraud and spinach garlic. Really, really tasty. Really good. Hands down the best meal on the ship. Right, David, the suspense is killing me. I've been given a gift. I've been given a fish. Ooh, yummy. It looks delicious, doesn't it? So it's lemongrass and it's actually packed full of flavour. I can smell it from here. Oh, that's delicious, Ben. It's good. I wish it ate fish because you can enjoy some of this. But also, I don't wish it ate fish because it's all mine. So for dessert, we've got a Vietnamese custard with some organic honey. Oh, what is wrong with it? I, I, need, I literally just really poured it all over myself. It's um, super wobbly. Wobble, wobble. Wobble, wobble. Jiggle, jiggle. That is, that's delicious. Like, not just saying it. 
It looks so unimpressive, really, but it is packed full of flavour. Absolutely delicious. Really, really good. Love it. So we are all finished our meal in Indochina. I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. It was really delicious. Amazing server, cigar, which means ocean in Indian, where he comes from. Really good service. Now it was £54 each for that meal. So that's £108 or about $170. Now that by far is the most expensive meal that we've had on a cruise ship, but um, other cruise lines would, would charge half that. Was it worth that? It depends on how you look at value. We'll leave that to you, but we think $170 for a meal, we already had our drinks included, is a lot of money indeed. But hey, it was definitely the best meal we've had on board. Oh, so we're back in our cabin after a lovely time, aren't we, David? Oh my gosh, Ben, I am bushwhacked. Thanks so much for watching this episode. We really appreciate it. Slurring my words there a little bit. <laughs> a few too many Proseccos. A couple of Proseccos there. Please hit that subscribe button and hit that like button if you like the video. It really helps us out and helps us create more content for you. Thank you so much as well to all of our patrons. It's because of your support that we've been able to self-fund this trip. If you want to find out more about Patreon, you can click the link in the description section below. That's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising. cruising! Let's go to bed. Oh, oh finally. I'm tired.